What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be taking a look at Microsoft's quarterly report which they just recently announced. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Webull whenever you open and fund your account, as well as $10 of free Bitcoin from Coinbase whenever you open your account and make your first $100 purchase of cryptocurrency. And don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. It's shaping up to be an exciting week in the market with many of the big tech companies reporting earnings this week, with Microsoft adding to the list just recently reporting their earnings. In their earnings report, which was released Tuesday after hours, Microsoft released a great earnings report with their cloud business leading the way. Announcing revenue for the quarter of $41.7 billion, a 19% growth quarter over quarter, with that translating to a net income of $15.5 billion, up 44%, with their cloud business accounting for $17.7 billion of that revenue. With this growth in their cloud business up 26%, fueled by the demand for remote working because of the pandemic. But their cloud business only made up a fraction of the increase in revenue, with their office products accounting for a 22% revenue growth, LinkedIn generating a revenue increase of 25%, and their Xbox content generating a 34% revenue increase, just to name a few other aspects of Microsoft's business model. So how have Microsoft shares responded to this earnings report? So far, at the time that I'm recording this video, Microsoft is down about about $7 per share, around 2.6% in after hours trading. And honestly, I don't know why. With Microsoft reporting its biggest revenue growth since 2018, with Microsoft beating analyst expectations for both earnings and revenue, reporting an earnings per share of $1.95 versus $1.78 expected, and a small beat on revenue as well, reporting $41.71 billion versus $41.03 billion expected. And for the upcoming quarter, Microsoft provided guidance of 43.6 to 44.5 billion in revenue. And overall, across all of Microsoft's business model, I was quite impressed with how they were able to grow each division, although some aspects of their business model certainly saw more growth than others. And in addition to the growth of their business, Microsoft was also able to return $10 billion of shareholder value in the form of $5.8 billion in share repurchases, as well as $4.2 billion in dividends. So as a Microsoft shareholder, what do I plan to do based on these earnings? Honestly, absolutely nothing. Microsoft is a long-term hold for me. And while I am surprised to see that Microsoft was down in after hours trading, right now I don't have any intention of adding to my long-term position. But in the event that we see Microsoft pull back further, which honestly, I don't really expect to happen, I'll definitely consider adding some additional shares to my portfolio. But just remember, my videos are never medical or financial advice. They're merely me researching a company and talking about my opinion about that company based on that research. An investment in Microsoft, like an investment in any company, comes with risks. So if you're thinking about investing in Microsoft, only do so after you've done your own research and if you're willing to accept those risks. What are your thoughts about Microsoft? Are you invested in MSFT? Are you thinking about investing in Microsoft? What do you think about the earnings report that Microsoft just released? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.